so today I'm going to be doing a book review of Gail Foreman's book Where She Went which is a sequel to her book If I Stay. This book I kind of feel like the fact that it's based three years after is really good because I think it had been slightly like not boring but like we didn't need to go through all of the sort of stuff in between I don't think like we kind of we kind of do in this book but not to the extent of like just it carrying on from where it was left in If I Stay. Um, I like that it's based um, three years on. And not only is it based three years on, it's also in Adam's point of view, which I think is great because it's. I found it so cool to sort of see into his side of ev you know, like everything that's happening and sort of see into his world because we saw all into Mia's world and so now we can experience Adam's and I think that's really cool. Just to give you an idea of what the book is about, I will shall read you the blurb. It says, It's been three years since Mia walked out of Adam's life, and three years he spent wondering why. When their paths cross again in New York City, Adam and Mia are brought back together for one life-changing night. Adam finally has the opportunity to ask Mia the questions that have been haunting him, but will, but will a few hours in this magical city be enough to lay their paths to rest? For good. Or can you... Or can you really have a second chance at first love? Which, after reading If I Stay, I was just like, oh my god, I need to find out what happens. Like, just reading the first line, it's been three years since Mia walked out of Adam's life, I was like, oh my god, why? Obviously, she went to Juilliard, but I was just like, why has she walked out of his life? Like, why aren't they still, like, together and, like, s surviving the long distance relationship? What happened? Um, obviously, the long distance relationship, you know, you can see it not happening, but oh my god, I wanted to know why. And this book was honestly, like, I feel like it's the best sequel I've ever read because it was just so perfect that, like, it, like, mmm, okay, I wanted it all to be really happy, but obviously as soon as you, like, think about everything that's happened, you know that it could have never been as, just as easy as meeting in New York and like having that magical you know like r slow motion run to each other like you just knew that it, that wasn't going to happen however much you wanted it to but I feel like this like the way Gail has written the sort of the ups and downs of like everything is just so good and I don't want to give it to give it away but oh I was just so happy with the ending and uh, I don't want to give it away <laughs> I probably already have um Yes, but I absolutely love this, like, oh my god, I loved it so much. As I said, I loved how this was in Adam's point of view, and I also loved how it carried, Gail carried on the, um, the sort of sequence, I guess, of how she had, like, one chapter which was, um, she had, like, the chapter which was, like, sort of, like, what's happening in the moment, and then the next chapter was a chapter of, like, a memory, or, like, and so it was like a flashback but it was from Adam's point of view which I just found so interesting because there were things that sort of he did flashback to some things that happened in If I Stay but they were from his point of view which I just thought was really interesting and also another thing that I absolutely loved was on the chapters that it was um she was talking about the present like the present day here I'll show you is like a little um extract um which is like a verse from one of Adam's songs, which was on their album um, Collateral Damage? Colla col yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, which was the one that sort of got his band Shooting Star um, to kind of like shoot up in the music industry and um, sort of is the album that the band is really recognised for, I guess. But even though the band are like super like famous and him being the lead singer, he is very much um, in the limelight, he has a super hot celebrity girlfriend, um, but he's not happy, he's really not happy at all. He's just so... Oh, he's got, um, he's got anxiety and he gets like, um, he gets panic attacks and it's very much like, you just feel so sorry for him, like, and you kind of see like how, you know like in the news when um, they're talking about like um, pop stars and that and how they're saying how they've got like depression and stuff and everyone's like why? They're living the perfect life. Well this kind of gives you an insight into like why 
why that sort of happens and like now you just feel like you feel more for them because you're like you understand it more I guess and just seeing that you just felt so sorry for Adam and like Mm, Adam. But this book was just a perfect ending for like me and Adam um, because like if I stay it just wasn't quite like when I read it I sort of got to the end and I was like this doesn't feel like the end like it just doesn't feel like this is the end of their story um, and so having like this was literally the perfect ending. Um, loads of people have been saying like, oh is there going to be a third book, but I honestly don't think I would want a third book because I want to know that, spoiler, I want to know that they are going to just for now on live happily ever after. I don't want to feel like the third book, because in the third book something else would have to happen that was dramatic, like, you know, arguments or one of them getting seriously ill or, you know, and I just, you don't, I don't really want that so I'm quite happy even though I would love more of their story like more of me and Adam I don't feel like it will fit I feel like the the way that this has ended is just perfect and there are also so many points throughout this book where you just think like the way that they're talking to the way each other and the way they're acting around each other you just feel like nothing nothing can be done to bring them back together like this is it but spoiler spoiler music brings them back together which is just like they sit down and Mia plays a cello Adam plays a guitar and that is the moment when you know that everything's gonna be okay and there is a happy ending and oh it's just so cute and I feel like you just need to read this. I feel like you could read this book without having read If I Stay. Um, I guess a lot of people will have watched the film of If I Stay, but you generally, you don't need to have read If I Stay to read this. But I honestly feel that there are so many cute things that happen within If I Stay that you just really need to have to be able to fully like appreciate this story and really like feel the feels. Um, <laughs> if that, you know, yeah. So, as you can probably tell, I really, really recommend this book. I absolutely loved it. It was so, so good. So, if you've read If I Stay and you were, like, not really wanting to read a really bad sequel to the book, then don't worry because this was amazing. I absolutely loved it. A lot of people were saying that they didn't like it because of the way, like, Adam was and they sort of hated him for the way he was acting, but once you like understand the, what he was going through you can I can totally see where he was coming from and why he was acting the way he was and people were also saying that they hated Mia for the way the fact that she'd left him but I also sort of understood where she was coming from and why she left so and why she went um so I kind of get both sides and so I'm not angry at either of them and I absolutely just think they're perfect characters and they're just meant to be together <laughs> So to round it up, I give this book a 5 out of 5. I absolutely loved it. Like, honestly, like, these two books are like my favourite that I've read this year. And If I Stay is, it's just th this whole, like, storyline, Adam and Mia, and is just, like, one of my favourites ever. Like, I loved it. Um, and a lot of people were saying about, like, how, um, about where she went being made into a movie and I, to start with, as I was reading it, I was like, I don't know how this could be made into a movie, but I would really love it to be made into a movie, like, to see it played out with Chloe and Jamie would just be so, so cool and, like, it needs to happen, like, it really needs to happen, so I really would like that to happen because that just, I think some of the features of the book would just be really, really cool to see as movie form and it just, yeah, it'd be awesome, so I would really like that. There isn't much more I can say about that book because I just, I have no words to describe how much I loved it, like, I just loved it. But right now I'm reading um, The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. Um, I actually forgot to put this in my book haul and I'm really annoyed that I forgot because it was just on my bookshelf because I would bought this book way before I bought any of the other ones, I think. But I basically, I saw it on the shelf and I saw this and I thought it looked pretty. So yeah, I kind of 
kind of judge the book by its cover a little bit, but um, the blurb says, um, Owen and Lucy are stuck in a lift. As they await help, they start talking. Though brief, the time they spent together leaves a mark as their lives take them to Edinburgh, San Francisco, San Francisco to Prague to Portland. They can't shake the memory of the time they shared. Postcards cross the globe when they when they themselves can't, as Owen and Lucy experience the joy and pain of first love. As each make their separate journey in search of a home, they will discover that sometimes it is a person rather than a place that anchors you most in the world. It really attracted me, um, the blurb, and I just thought it sounded so so cute and just my type of story, so I was like, I definitely have to read this. Um, so make sure to look out for a review of this one because I'm sure I will have finished it very very soon. So that is it for today's review. I feel like I didn't really review that book very well, um, but I don't really know how much, I don't, I don't think I could say a lot without spoiling it, um, but I'm very very late in the, on the train of a girl former books. Um, I've read it now and I'm in love with it, so it's all okay. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and would like more book reviews or more videos like these, or more from me, then make sure to subscribe um, to get that, and I will see you next time. Bye!